Lying west of Salisbury, the Chalk Valley is usually one of the quietest locations in southern England. But for one week, thousands of people from all over the country are attending a unique event organised by local resident James Holland. James, what's the big idea here? Well, there's lots and lots of festivals around the country, lots of arts festivals, lots of music festivals, but no one festival dedicated to history, so we thought we'd be the first. It might be a slightly harder sell than Glastonbury, but you get loads and loads of living history, you've got the trench experience, you've got jousting, you've got beer wolf storytelling around the fire with hairy Vikings, and we also have lots and lots of historic vehicles. There's drink, there's food galore. I mean, this is a proper festival, it's just a festival of history. Where a music festival has bands, this one has headlining historians and public figures. 70 years ago, people were dropping bombs on our parents and our friends and our grandparents' houses. I've joined my old school, Bournemouth School for Girls, to hear Dan Snow. So when my wife says, you've lost the car keys again, you total idiot, I say, well, it could be worse. <laughs> Did you ever think that history could be funny like, like he makes it? I'm not as funny as he makes it, but I have a history teacher and he makes a lot of jokes in class, so you do really see like the enjoyable side as well. He just really impresses people when you, when you know things like that and they're the sort of people that you seek to be like in later life. For the A-level students, it's really difficult to find something that's really meaningful for them. And I think this really is. Lots of talks, as I say, by different historians and a real breadth of history, which will really help them, I think. People always say to me, well, you're never going to get young people interested in history. I say, are you mad? We had a tent full of them there. We've got hundreds of thousands of them doing academic qualifications in history. Go to a castle on a bank holiday weekend, what do you see? Five-year-olds going mental with plastic swords. Young people love history, the drama of it and the importance of it. Do you know there's more people every single weekend in Britain go to historic properties than football matches? So technically, history is bigger than football. The Chalk Valley itself is rich in Anglo-Saxon history, and that's been reflected in a wooded corner of the festival where I found the historian and television presenter Alex Langlands. As soon as you step through that hedgerow and you see all of this, just for a moment you get a feel for what it was like back in the Anglo-Saxon periods. The Chalk Valley History Festival has just got a fantastic blend, really, of all the very, very different elements that make up popular history. So you can be seeing a really quite highbrow lecture on one hand, you can come straight out of there, grab a sword and run across the field, you know, and really let go. You've got it cushy this afternoon. Yes, Sergeant, we've got it cushy. You know, this is a whole field in southern England full of history geeks. It's brilliant. It's my heaven. It's like I died and gone to heaven. <laughs>